Hello everybody, this is Pinstripe Paragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we finished off Dust Dusty Dune Galaxy for good. And in this episode, we will be heading to Melty Molten Galaxy. Alright, so, Melty Molten Galaxy. It's hot. The sinking! Lava Spirit. Spire. Spire! Okay. Oh, I remember this one. I remember I would used to die trying to go up there. I don't know why. I, I must suck. I must suck at this game, but hey, I'm at 102 stars. I can't, I can't suck that bad. My estimate would be like six episodes left, which is really sad. But, oh well, you know, it's a, it's a good game, good LP, you know. A lot of you seem to have enjoyed it, like a couple of my friends who I had no idea watched my videos, like, because I have no idea, like, I just know them, I don't know, like, their YouTube name. Like, they've said it was a, it's a real good let's play. Um, it means a lot! You know, like, it... It makes your day, like, hearing stuff like that, you know? And, yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, no, this isn't a proper comet. Durr. There will be, though. And, just, just go up. And, I'll show you what's in the volcano! You gotta be careful! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, a bunch of bunch of diamonds! Oh, God! Oh, God! Get the heck out of there! And, Damn! That's a ton of star bits, and uh, that was very, very cool. Now, hey, you, yeah, you, kind of juicy star bits. If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'm little. You need eighty, huh? Well, uh, normally I would, but not today. All right, so there's some pearl stars right over here. As you can probably guess, we need to use them. Oh, God! Okay. Good. And I've got myself that thing. Awesome. Uh, that is really good. And okay. No! No! Holy crap! Alright. Next part of the level. Yeah! Now there's freaking launch star. I like these. This really shows off the Wii's graphical graphics potential, really. Like this that part right not right not that part, but like the volcano. The volcano. Okay, you know, part. Like, Hadouken! You know, like all those Street Fighter 2 people. Like in Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo! That, that game's loud, obnoxious. It can get annoying at times. Especially because they're freaking beasts! The computers. They're freaking beasts. So, yeah. It's a, it's a fun game, but. It, damn you! Fireballs! Yeah, that game's fun. It's just irritating. Yeah. Okay. And now we are getting some more star bits. That's awesome. Okay. Let's do this. Alright, so these things are gonna be falling. Oh no! Okay, good. Good. Oh! What the heck? I guess that's what they mean by sinking lava spire. And oh no! Oh no! Go Mario, go! Get as big of a lead as you can! Because you won't have much time to savor the moment. Trust me, you won't, because it actually moves somewhat fast, surprisingly. So yeah, some some of these you gotta like get close up to and wait. It reminds me a bunch of like some of the Donkey Kong Country Returns levels. If you've ever played that game, like I have, and like some things affect others and it, it's a fun game, but yeah, that's one way you put it. And it is a fun game, though. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but I'm gonna get these star bits just so I can get another one up, even though I won't need it. Because after this episode, I'm probably gonna stop recording for the day. It, it depends, you know, it depends on whether or not my parents return their trip to the store. Yeah, they like went to the store and um, then they got. Then they're getting food. And yeah! Got the next 
Power Star. Yeah. All right. Do, 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 do. Woo! Oh yeah. Get that Power Star. Yeah. All right. Damn, it's like five o'clock. I've been recording for almost an hour. I love it. I love it. And all right. So, damn. We're getting a ton of star bits. And the Hungry Loom for the Garden has appeared. I think I'm just going to save all the Hungry Luma galaxies for an episode. And let's head back to the Melty Molten Galaxy. And, huh. I wonder. Well, what's the next mission? Through the Meteor Storm. I'll go ahead and do Through the Meteor Storm. And then depending on what the third mission is, I'll either do that... Or, um, like, the secret mission that was obvious in, uh, that previous level, because it was a Hungry Luma. So I'm actually just gonna collect some star bits, just so I can, you know, rack them up. Because, uh, like, I wanna try and get the maximum amount of star bits possible, because, um, you know... There's like a feature at the end of the game if you, uh, well actually it's whenever you reach the mark. Like, if you collect 9,999 star bits, uh, like, what you can do is, like, yeah, change all the melons or whatever they are into coconuts, like actual coconuts, which is really cool. And I really want to show that off if I can. So I just want to get all the Starbit stuff done here. And damn it, my terrible depth perception. And okay, come on. Come on. Oh, God. Get there. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. And we're already at 10. I'm at 10 extra lives. Nice. All right. Luckily, this level produces a bunch of Starbits. Like, unintentionally. No. Oh, thank God. Oh, I was scared there. I thought I was gonna die. But anyway, we are now here, and let's just get some coins while I still can. And, okay. Good, there's a this thing here. That's awesome. Alright, some star chips. I want to make sure I didn't miss any over here, though. Good! I, I would have missed that. And there's, I think there's one in the box, actually. Um, at least I remember that. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Now, let's just keep on going, because... No! Aw, oh, I keep thinking that the lava's insta-kill. It's funny, like, you would think the lava would be insta-kill, but, like, the sand is. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Like, even in movies, they, like, they're able to get out of quicksand, but yet, if they hit lava, they die. So, I don't know what their reasoning behind that was, but I don't know if I agree with it. Like, in Dusty Dune, I, I failed. Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wait. What am I supposed to break? Exactly. Okay, I know it's, I know it's this way. So, oh, hi. Oh, God, it's a bullet bill. It's a bullet bell! Come on! No, get, what the heck is with all this? Yeah! Okay! Yeah! That's it! Okay, good. I broke the glass thing. Display? I don't know. Alright. Oh, sweet Jesus! Not the rolling ball. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. Oh! Okay, good. 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 Okay. I need gun sun Christian okay. okay I'm at this part okay I'm gonna wait for a big platform oh boy oh yeah did it nice all right so that was a that was a decent mission you know not too long not too short uh Definitely challenging at the end there, but I I went through because you know everyone's watching. Yeah. I forgot the lyrics. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh, it's like, it's working for the weekend by Loverboy. I can't remember the lyrics. I am, I am ashamed of myself. Like, everyone's watching. I see what you do. That's the lyrics. Yeah. You know? Uh. Anyway. Let's see what the third mission is. Fiery Dino Piranha. I'm gonna go ahead and do Fiery Dino Piranha. Uh, there was, a, there was a cut there because my mic just like randomly went down, but it was weird. Anyway, it is now like five o'clock as I'm recording this because I hear my clock going off in the background. Yay! I don't know what that was, but um, I do know one thing. We are going to be facing a remake of the boss. Remake of the boss. Oh! Not an HD remake. Oh no. Unless, unless it was like. Unless it was like a Game Boy, like, unless it was like a Game Boy game brought over to Game Boy Advance or something, <laughs> you know, or like the Game Boy player like I did with my Kirby's Adventure Let's, I mean not Adventure, uh, Kirby's Dreamland Let's Play, because that was done through my Game Boy player, and I wish I would have held off, because they're, they released a Kirby collection recently, and it's got that game, Kirby's Dreamland 2, which I am planning to LP. And um, a bunch of the other older Kirby games, which is good because, like, some of them I wasn't able to record or I didn't have the game at all. Like, Kirby's Dreamland 3, which is on there. Like, to this day, I still don't have that game. I was close, but I didn't get it because, like, the lot eventually, like, grew too expensive. Oh, dang it! I think, yeah. Oh, God! Okay, I'm back. Um, so, what you gotta do on this galaxy is you gotta kill these things. So, anyway, like I was saying, there, that Kirby collection got like a bunch like six of the uh, older Kirby games which is awesome because I love my Kirby you know Kirby's awesome it's, it's like my favorite game franchise and you know I just gotta get it um, hopefully I can get that soon because it's like it's like that Mario thing that came out in, in 2010 and I'm afraid that it'll go out of print before I can get it. Like they did, they did that for uh, Metroid Prime, I believe. Actually, it wasn't the same thing. It wasn't like an anniversary or anything. But they made like a collection pack, which came with like three Metroid Prime games, which I didn't get because I wasn't aware of it for the longest time. Um, but like. They have that at my local play and trade, like a used version, but it's still Metroid Prime Trilogy, you know? Like that, it goes for like oh, about a hundred on eBay or so nowadays. At least I think, that's what I remember. Here we- OH NO! That's the second time I've died in this level. What is this? This ain't right. Everyone's trying to get it right. That's another line from WORKING FOR THE WEEKEND! You know? Yeah! Okay, I got it! Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on, come on! Okay. Okay! That's it! That's it! Yeah! Okay. Launch star appears. Yeah! Hit! Oh no 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 Poop! Okay. Little, 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 late! I mean, I was really random with the noises there. I was just because I was like, Oh god, what will I do, what will I do, what will I do? And that's where it came out as. Uh, simple as that. Um, but yeah, this is a good level. Like, Melody Molten Galaxy is surprisingly good for star bits. I was surprised. I mean, look at this! So many star bits! Oh, of course. This is just leading up to you buying one of those things. You clearly could have gotten a life shroom back there. But you would break the freaking egg! And then it goes on fire! Because we, we didn't know we had the fire flower on us. Okay. 
Yeah! Okay, so this one is a bit different from the original PD Piranha. Or whatever his name was. Um, basically, he will be excited and be on fire. And then he'll randomly cool down for like a split second. No! And then you gotta, you know, take him out then. Like so! So, in a way, it, it is actually a bit more tricky because now he's gonna, his fire is gonna start leaving a trail, which is annoying. But at least it's a bit easier to get him, you know, because you can keep an eye on the trail. Oh god, now he's shooting fireballs! Okay, come on. Where are you going? Where are you going, kitty? No, ow! See, that's, that's why it's a bit more difficult because of his fireballs and fiery tail of damnness. Okay. 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 <gasps> oh! Crap! Crap! Okay, good. Yeah, coins are in the flowers here. Why there are flowers on a fiery meteoroid? I don't know! Yeah! Awesome! Did it! Right there! Nice! Okay! Well, we're about to get yet another power star, and that's awesome. Do, 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 do. Woo! Okay. I think that is going to do it for today's episode. We've taken care of the three main missions at Multi -Molt Melty Molten, and that's good enough in itself, you know? So... Yeah, I think we'll end it off here, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.